Are we going? You bet your ass we are. Alright. Hey Doc. Here's the key. Going through the door. Oh. Okay. Wait. Hold on. What? Whoa. Oh. 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 I thought it was going to be like in the dream. There's like freaking forest behind here. What's just... Oh. Oh. Interesting. It's like... It's an un actual, like, built passage. Guns out. What is... Oh, okay. Is that a heart? Huge... Ooh. White goo slowly seeps from the giant root and flows down the hallway as if guided by some unseen force. Uh, okay. What? Okay, this is a lot of the goo. It's a lot of goo. <gasps> oh my goodness. I stumble upon something amongst the rubble. Stop flashing, what is what am I looking at? I can barely see what I'm looking at. Oh, okay, a strange soft item. A cross. The tunnel has collapsed recently. The reinforced steel protruding from the debris has not been covered with rust yet. When I gaze into the tunnel I notice a silhouette of a man on the ground. Ah, uh, the flashing light is frustrating. Suddenly, the man snaps to life as if woken up from a deep slumber. Who the ghost there? I hear a faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you... are you one of them? The man attempts to get up, but fails. I can see him desperately flailing his limbs around. It's as if his back has been glued to the ground. No, please! As I approach him, he shuffles his legs nervously, nervously, as if trying to retreat into the collapsed tunnel. I didn't do anything. I beg you. I just wanted to pass to get back to my family. The tree has blocked the only way out. The only path home. A huge talking tree. I begged it to let me pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me. So we came here. Talking tree. The man props himself up on his elbows. With a huge effort, he tries to straighten his body, but something is firmly holding him by the back and the neck. I can't. I can't get up. I cannot see the silhouette of the person in the flashing light. My brain just isn't processing it fast enough. The man drops onto the rubble and goes silent. He clenches his fists. My head hurts. The man places his hand on his forehead and feels a strange dent above his left brow. He freezes. What is this? He carefully inserts his index finger into the hole. Ah! Ah! His eyelid twitches. Ah! My stone. Ah! I hear a sound as if eggshell cracking. The, f ah, the forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick, huge bruise from the wound. I can hear his skull cracking. Ah! My little stone. The man slowly removes his fingers from the hole in his head, a colorless ooze dripping from them. He's holding something. A round object. That's why. Swings his left hand and throws the object at me. A small, irregular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. Ah! Uh, looks like a bullet, but it's soft? This... this is what put me to sleep. Okay! His head lifelessly drops to the concrete floor of the destroyed tunnel and goes still. Ugh! Suddenly I can hear a bang of the metal door followed by the sound of fading footsteps. It's the doctor! I can see him here. The tunnel is completely caved in. I will not be able to break through this way. I'll need to find another. I genuinely cannot see the person in this. 
Like, oh no, there he is. There's his face. There's his. That's his legs. Okay. Oh, I see him now. Doctor. Hey, buddy. Where are you? A big sign on the door reads closed area. Oh. Oh, there it is. Mushrooms. A rusty iron cowbell. It's noises. Yeah. <laughs> I do not want to be in there. I cannot walk. Let's go around the edge. Oh, okay. Do not. No, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna have to go through. I just want to uh, return to my family. Who is talking? Is it inside the wood? Oh, this does not feel safe. More than one person has died down here. Okay, there's light up here. Oh, hello. What is that? Just wanted to pass. What is that? Okay. 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 Salmon growths. Some strange organic growths. Oh my god! What the fuck is that?! Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, those were eyes! Those were eyes! Those were eyes, those were eyes, those were eyes! Fuck you! Can't hit you. Soft organism growing out of the ground. Oh, I'm uncomfortable with this. Chinese stone attached to a wooden cross. Okay. A tried body of some man. Only skin and bones covered in roots. They are surprisingly well preserved. There's a small hole in his forehead. I'd say it's been lying here for more than two ye years. That's a long time. I'm gonna run out of lantern. I am really taking my time here. But can you blame me? This shit is spooky. Okay, we found the stairs. I don't know what we missed in there, but I don't rightly care at this point. Chapter 2! Oh boy! Haha! <laughs> Cool. The swamp. Okay. Hi there. Okay. Broken compressor. A damaged compressor used to refill oxygen tanks. I should be able to fix this. Why do I need oxygen tanks? I. What is that that I need? All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Note. What am I looking at? I can only decipher individual words: shell, thick goo, and light. Oh, what is that? Is that the stove on fire? A crate covered in strange organic black shell. I won't be able to open it until I get rid of this substance, which has just disappeared. Alright. What? <laughs> okay, sure. Alright, yeah, I got gas. A gas bottle. Fucking okay. Turn the generator on. I guess this is my new hideout. I suppose. Oh, what? It's more of that shit. That's fun. That's fun. I'm, ha I'm having fun. A note. Oh. Day one. 1,350... 1,300 hours. The compressor is broken. So is the lock on the trap door leading to the underground. I had to use a blowtorch. Fucking moisture. Day 2. 1200 hours. We took 45 photos of the tree from the observation point. In the vicinity of 3C. Okay. It grew twice its size in a month. Really quick, even for the local standards. Day 2. 1520 hours. I'm slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two men to search the nearby junkyard. 
maybe it won't have to, we won't have to go back for spare parts for the compressor. Watch out for the cottage near the junkyard. Marked building on the map. Someone could be living there. Day 2, 1800 hours. At least 10 locals lurking in between the trees. How do they know about us? We won't be able to gather our equipment in time. The risk of getting detected is too high. Need to evac. Also, do I just have a bunch of journal entries at once? What do I have to say on this shit? Walk a few kilometers underground, Jesus. The underground passage was blocked by roots, so I had to go around, so I'm not at wherever I'm going yet. While in the underground passage, I met a peculiar man. He acted strangely, blabbering about a talking tree which emerged on the path to some house in the village. Need to investigate it. The doctor has escaped. So be it. It'd only be a hindrance anyway. I finally got out of the tunnels. The hatch sealed itself shut behind me. I am now at the swamp, in an abandoned hideout. Ah. 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 Okay. Well, I guess... Let's set up and then go around. Let's... There's gotta be a bottle of booze in here somewhere. I didn't think I'd get to a hideout this quickly, Jesus. containers here. Eh. Well, that's helpful. That fucking thing. Radio. It's covered in a thick layer of dust. It looks like no one has used it for a long time. But it smells of warm plastic and burned wires. Is there anywhere in here that's safe to board up? Like, it's all looking pretty destroyed and open. Like, look at this place. Nowhere is safe. Can't hide in here. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe in here? Doorway. Th this is the only place I can I can stay. Uh, this is the only place. And I... I did not... Oh, fubbernuck. I did not bring any wood. Oh, fuck. Get out of here and find some wood. Quick, 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 quick. It's gotta be somewhere out there somewhere, right? What is that? Noise! Oh god, what is that? Hi! Okay, okay. I have gone the wrong direction. I don't wanna be here anymore. Supposedly there is a village this way, but. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. Oh, don't look at me! Oh my god, what is that?! What the hell? What is- Oh, hello! I punched it? That's all, most of my bullets gone. Dead human spider. Okay, how did that come across? come about. What the fuck? All oh, there's people there. Okay. What? Crows. Something must have scared off, scared them off from a huge, the huge tree crown charring the village. So something scared them off. Wait, am I in the village at the moment? Oh, that's not okay. This isn't like the other village. I hear that. I don't want to go towards that right now. Oh, that's... Crazy writing on the floor. Ripe place for loot! The word thieves has been scratched out on the floor. Right! Yep. That makes me feel good about being here. Makes me feel real welcome. I miss him. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! What is that? No, 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 Who's there? Ah, nobody! No one! Hello! I'm okay, do not attack me. Wait! Bloody hell, you're alive! The old man extends his hen hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me and... Me and... He finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment he clutches my hand in silence, then I hear him mumbling up under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this. This chair. Bloody hell. 
his gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. Whoa. Old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I haven't said anything, dude. I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that! It looks like a tree for those faces. I know the buggers, every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real. They're not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand and to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me. This bugger in this fucking skull. All the time, I have to listen to this pathetic blabber. Complaining all the time as if I was supposed to believe it's human. That's me Zocker. Yeah, right. What the hell is a Zocker? Oh, it must be his friend. Suddenly he reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out of his chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You that? You've got your hands and legs? Strong arms? I beg you. Get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. Fucking hell, I want to die in peace! Listen to me. I've thought about it for a long time. I've got, had a lot of time to think, and for fuck's sake. His eyes widen, his pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Jassic's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree's too large. So if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. There. Surely you find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. No idea what you're talking about. Destroy them. Pull them. Drag them. Twist the fuck out of them. We'll find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down, down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. What the hell are you, dude? What do you think of this road? You're blind, like you can see what I'm handing you, it's just paper. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. Oh, okay, it's not fully blind. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness is what it is. Alright. Years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where that damned tree grows. They would often leave at night, so no one could see them. They went into the deep dark woods, and never came back. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees cut us off from the rest of the world. But home, for me, it's always been here. Then that monstrous abomination grew out of the ground, blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Many people found some other place. Maybe they died in the swamps just like us. I don't know, man. It used to be different here. First the woods changed, the trees started sprouting up everywhere, we were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. Jesus. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone's dead. Only sometimes. Man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. Yeah, they keep me awake at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. Come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees. And come back. They pass me, fall silent, like a nightmare, a bloody nightmare. What are you going on about again? The old man leads toward me, scowling. The wheelchair? Oh, took me legs, then those wankers burned me house and the pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. So they said, and me Zocker, the disease took her from me. Now all I have is this wheelchair, and this land. Alright. You have a lot to say, man. 
if you come across some wheels, two little wheels, so that I can fix the chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. Huh. I don't have any wheels. I hope they're here and I wasn't supposed to bring them. Jesus. Now you tell me. Backpack? Fish. Om. Okay, what was that? Before you leave, please see if you can do something about the tree. Alright. Go to the basement. It's just next to the tree. What basement? Where? What tree? Where? Did you give me a map? Hello. Sickle. I don't need it. It's getting a bit late. What is that noise? Oh, okay. Talking tree. Whoa, that's a lot of faces. Okay. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously creating a uniform, noisy murmur. That's people speaking, that drone? Holy shit! Between the boughs I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Kick, you kick the tree, hoping the voices will go silent, try to climb the tree, Look at the lips of the person talking to me. I don't know. Can I only do one? Um. Look at the lips, I guess. What the fuck's he saying? Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it is too high for me to read the lips properly. I think one of the words is radio. I'm not climbing that tree. Um. I'm not kicking it either. I feel like if I touch it, I'll become part of it. I'm not touching that tree! Fuck that! The shafts come from an old man, only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from between the tightly crowded bodies. So right next to an old woman's head, wobbling from side to side, repeats, We were hungry! We were hungry! Another figure hiding its face under an enormous root lets out a chilling streak. Quiet! Quiet! Leave us in peace! Shut up! He is interrupted by a man next to him. His intestines hang out from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it! You stole it! High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hang side by side, their hands and legs grown into the trunk. They are trying to bite each other's faces off. Ah ha ha I thought it was just saying the same thing again, I didn't see the first line. I noticed a little smiling face of a girl uh, gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads, oblivious to the chaos around her. She studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some metal in melody. A lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. Oh my god. God, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, more of the eye things. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Damn it, damn it, change the axe, you idiot. Damn it. Damn it. No, no, get out of here, get out of here. Uh, get out of here. Um, 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 pills. Pills, 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 pills. Eat! Fucking... I... Damn it! Please let me have kept the wood. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that one hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, light. Oh, not a chomper. No. No. No, 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 no. You know what? Fuck it. 
Say hello to my boom stick. Oh, really? Shit. So guess what? I'm not surviving the night. There is. I got torches. I got flares. I got some matches. There's nothing I can do. Not a thing. I am fucked. All right. Let's just close this door. We can't repair this door. Ah, uh, hmm. Can I unbarricade that window and use it to make the door? <laughs> Come on, what am I supposed to do here? I'm just gonna sit in this corner and cry. Oh, what? Hello. 12th of September, 1948. 84. We've found new signs 17 kilometers west of the hideout, 33 points, 12 circles, one catalogued pattern, six un unidentified patterns, simple scribblings of a madman. None of these places are safe. <sighs> Wait, what? I don't know what it's saying. Is it emitting light? Okay. <coughs> that cool. Soon. What? Soon what? I'm close. To what? Oh god. Oh god, something's moving my lamp. Something's moving my furniture in that room. Uh oh. Getting dark. What the hell is this swamp even about? I'm not looking through that window. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll see it come through here or come past here. Uh, if anything. Stop going dim. It's spooky enough. Stop! No! Don't make me throw another flare. Why was the radio so lit up? It was legit- It's literally emitting light. Do not. Not another chomper. No thank you. Not another. Do not- not- no! Oh god, it's dog! Fucking- We're gonna have a vision in the morning. Oh god, what the fuck? What? 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 What the? What was that? Oh god. It broke through the floor? Oh god. Oh god. What is that? Oh god, another! Centipede? What?! How am I alive?! I didn't barricade anything! I couldn't barricade anything! How am I alive?! <laughs> what?! All of my ammo was on my corpse. I brought all of it with me and lost all of it. <laughs> The actual fuck. Let's have a vision before we say hello to Trader. There's a fourth tier. Of course there's a fourth <laughs> Oh god. What am I lo what am I getting hurt with this time? My accuracy No Healing items would be like No Fuck <laughs> The pills are my only saving grace. Why will you take this from me? Adrenaline, I deal double damage in melee when close to death. That's useful. My vitality will increase. More health, more health, less effective healing. 
once a day I'll be able to become invisible to my enemies if I stay still. Oh, that's so good though! Oh, I don't want to be inaccurate, I'm already inaccurate! Fuck it, more health and less effective healing. It's all I can do. No vision. Interesting. Where are you? I even, don't even know how old. The three. What are you? The three visitors stare at me in silence, as if waiting for my move. I can only hear the heavy breathing of the tallest figure holding a giant bag. As the tallest figure opens the bag, the room is filled with an intense smell of mushrooms. Apparently, they wish to give me something. I see big skull there, but... Oh, is that another skull and is that another one there? Is this his shoulders? Or her shoulders? I don't know. Does it matter? No! I can't show you anything. You're just... creepy. Okay. Sure. Oh, what are you? The body, a body of a man wearing a helmet. His head has been severed. Okay. 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 Looks like the mushrooms are growing out of the book. Or it could just be picked. No, it's, it, it is actually growing out of the book. Severed head inside the helmet. Why would I pick that up? Someone scratched out the word liar on the helmet's viewfinder. Is this the traitor? Why am I picking this up? I think that might be the traitor. I think he tried to come and say hello and the three killed him. Uh, that's, that's my running theory. Fuck, oh, fuck. These things just keep making me jump. And he, like, this is a big hole here, like, this is the only place that has, like, four areas that can even be remotely sealed up. Lottery ticket. Okay. Lady on a pen. Cool. Are these random things, like, supposed to be code hints or something? Where? Where? Oh, of course, both of them at the same time. Okay, I got it, I got it. Damn it, no, get out of here before I die again. Oh, run. Fucking... No, don't look, just run! Oh, god damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die, 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 Hi there, I didn't see you there. Hi, can I talk to you? No. Fair enough. Wait, doctor? Doctor? Dude! Oh, what happened to you? What happened to you? You again. What do you want from me? Want to put me in front of a firing squad for desertion? The Dodd snorts ironically, hiding his irritation. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm too close. I can hear her. Just as if she was standing beside me. My little... With shaking hands, he reaches for the cigarette, but between his yellow teeth. I'm sure someone is waiting for you, too. Oh, God, man, no. He spits out the rest of his the tobacco. Your little girl's not in the tree, man. I used to come here to treat people. I pulled out kids' milk teeth, delivered babies, and then came the diseases I've never even heard of. I was the only doctor in the area. You cut us off from the outside world. What did I do? First you, then the woods. No help from anyone. Last time I came here was three or four years ago. And the trees blocked the path. The doctor looks around the area. It's different now. The fields are flooded. Everyone in the village is dead. 
So much work for nothing. I realized something. It came to me when we were talk walking through the tunnels. You're like a disease. You and your kind. Doctor takes a step back as if he were afraid of me. At the same time, a sinister smile appears on his face. You don't belong to this land. You weren't here when the forest was born. You're a splinter. A foreign body. A vagabond. And then, the forest, everything else here, these are the antibodies. Even the morons from the village. Raging white blood cells in an infected bloodstream. That's the reason you hide from us. The doctor is visibly pleased with himself and his theory. His hands are no longer trembling. He produces a hand-rolled cigarette and lights it. Logical, isn't it? No! It makes no sense! You're bonkers, dude! Some of the flooded areas hide underground, underwater passages. Recently I fell into this underwater den in the eastern edge of the swamp. I have no idea where it leads. I'm a shitty diver. I've seen a similar one in the northeastern edge of the swamp. Okay. The peasants broke through the wall of trees. I could not believe my eyes. I tried to do it many times, but I couldn't manage to cut the trees fast enough. It was as if the woods were healing the scars. The motherfuckers were growing back right in front of my eyes. I was afraid I would get stuck between the trunks. Losing that smell made their blood run cold. They escaped, fearing starvation. The doctor smiles as he puffs the cigarette. Out of the frying pan into the fire. They have a camp in the old quarry. The southeastern edge of the swamp. Okay. What do you think of the photo? Why are you showing this to me? You better tell me how to get there. I was hoping you would know. Honestly. Wow. You... I can't get anything from you. Weapon parts or an embryo. That's it. I'm not going to pay a hundred value for a tape. Fuck that. See ya, buddy. I guess. Have fun going nuts. Ah, God damn it. The ruins of an old cottage have been marked on the map. It contains the caption holes worth checking out. Wait, that's a horse or a cow? And I thought the forest was taking over before. I hadn't even gotten here yet. Jesus, this place is a mess. Oh, oh it scares me every time. Oh, what the hell is it's grabbing onto me? Let go! Let go! Let go! You... What the hell? What?! Right, let's find out what's in here. Why not? Locked. Need a key. Do I have one? No. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I'm not fighting that. They're gonna explode anyway. Oops! No, 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 Fucking oh, god. You are made of nightmares. Don't. Oh, there's a box in the wall. Oh, oh. Stay over. Do not! Oh, fucking god! Gah, the fucking. Oh my god, not again, not again, not again. God damn it. Where are you? Where are you? Oh my god, I can't get away. I, I, what do I do against that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 get off of me, get off of me. How do I get the fucking away from that? Giddy aunt. Alcohol. Yes. Two 
strong to dismantle? Sure. I mean, I could break it down. I do have an axe. And a torch that's about to run out. Run out. It's about to run out today. And I'm gonna be left in the dark and scared. Oh, well. I guess that's the fucking way. Nothing happens. Wow. All that for a bottle of alcohol that does nothing. What is... what is that sound? Some gravity well shit's happening elsewhere, I guess. Just come in. Come on, just come in. Or you can break the door. Fuck you. Chomper, get the fuck out of my house! God damn it! What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Okay, what am the frickin' light? It damages me. No, don't look at it. God damn it. I'm just gonna walk over here. No, 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 no. And I'm gonna pull this out. And it's gonna mean nothing because it's not enough to repair the goddamn doorway! Feck. Did I put... I didn't put any nails in there. I just ran out. Shit. Are the holes? Yeah. Why not? It's about as crazy as anything else I'm doing. Oh, God, every time. Oh, God damn it. There's some footprints on the floor. What? Wait. What? Oh! Follow the little blood trail. Where does the blood trail go? Nobody knows. What the fuck is there a footprint and blood trail inside my house? Was something pulled in? Or was something dragged out? These are the questions that I must ask. The door handle is covered with slime. Okay. 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 Something went in. There's something living with me now. I have a housemate. Brilliant. I love it. Bear trap. And there's just a skeleton of a dog right there. They're, they're going at every door, apparently. Fucking... All four doors. Which one will break first? All of them? Or none of them? All four doors. All four entrances are being hit. What do I do about this? Oh, whoa, I almost... What the hell is wrong with these dogs? Something's wrong with these dogs. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god fucking damn it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh god! Oh my god! Ew! Ew, 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 ew! Ew! What is that? Okay. It's another. S Don't throw your limbs at me! Throw its limbs at me! Ah! Oh, why would you? How could you? Okay, another one of you. Hello! Hello! Goodbye! Say hello to the exploding. King. Fucking. 
pretend I didn't say that. A a sen intense, an a, a intense sweet, sweet smell of mushrooms fills the air. I don't know why I couldn't say any of that. This must be the mushroom glade. Yaha! Uh -huh. I assume these are not the good kind of mushrooms that I keep using. These are the kind that have been poisoning me every so often. What is that? Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. There's another one of you. I can deal with you by running. Oh, you're very close. That mushroom man sounded a lot bigger and more dangerous. What footprints? Someone must have lost it recently. Looks like it's been lying here for a short while. Torn cigarette pack. The caption at the bottom reads, Return South Edge of Swamp. Hmm. Okay. So where do they go the other direction? Yup. This is someone's home away from home. Or just simply their home. Okay, there's just postules everywhere here. Great. I was intending to go to the holes, but I guess I'll be here. Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor, even though it looks like it's made of wood, bends under my feet. A white colorless gulu seeps from the ceiling and walls. Yes, I love it. Hello, I only just noticed you. Key on a key ring. A colorless key feels soft to the touch. There's a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Hey, who the fuck are you? Do not attack me, please. Mushroom granny? Okay, you are turning into mushrooms. They're growing out of your head and arm. Sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her deep, her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grow out from beneath her thick hair. Try to pick a mushroom from the woman's head. We'll wake her. I'll wake her. I'll say hello. The old lady slowly opens her eyes for a moment. She stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally, she becomes aware of my presence. Wait. You're not. Her empty eyes now take on a questioning expression. I didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right and gazes around the mushroom infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want. And you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Excuse me? Eat the old lady? What? Point your finger at the door. Sure. What's in the door? It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing there that would interest you. The lady puffs a cigarette. She has a cigarette? Oh, right. I see it now. Come back when you remember what it is you want from me. To go over the road. The old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember driving cars along this road, and then they closed it, set up a fence and a gate, but both fence and gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. What about the cigarette pack? That's all an empty pack of cigarettes. Bring a fresh one next time. Dorman examines the drawing on the packaging. Is it our quarry? Ah, uh, yes. It's the one located in the southern, southeastern part of the swamp. I'm not eating her! What? Okay. What the fuck is this place? 
Oh, I almost walked into the mushrooms. Oh! Die! Hi. Are you gonna attack me? You're the doctor? Oh my god. Are you okay, doctor? What's happened to your head? What is happening to you, man? This land hides more secrets than your little fucking rat brain is capable of understanding. Doctor digs through the mud. I think he's looking for something. Deep underground. The current of electricity. Fucking electricity. He starts flailing everything. Fla he starts flailing his arms wildly, throwing pieces of mud everywhere around him. Underground, from tree to tree. The doctor suddenly freezes, staring at me with his arms midair. And it powers everything. It connects it all. If I had a light, if I screwed it into one of these branches, it would light up. I bet it fucking would. He bends over a small hole in the mud and continues digging. Maybe this is where you're hiding. Maybe this is the way. Okay, man. Oh, I kind of regret bringing you here now. You're going frickin' crazy. I thought the wolf was crazy. Can you hear the trees sing? They're calling us, showing us the way. They're showing us the way. At the same, blocking it. Can't understand it. He kicks a stone. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they putting us to a test? Oh no! Maybe they're lost too. I don't know what to do. He shakes his head, dispirited, and goes silent. After a long pause, he turns toward me. His glasses are so dirty, I can barely see the eyes hiding underneath. I see you have regained your speech. You need to find another doctor. That's not reassuring. Doctor has lost his thoughts. A cigarette sticks out of the, his mud covered mouth. Using what remains of his shoe, he draws a line on the ground. They seem to intersect in completely random places. I'm waiting. He doesn't stop drawing. He moves away a bit and makes a wide arc with his heel. Four. The doctor flicks his cigarette into the dirt, stomps on it, and drags along the, it along the ground, creating the last line. You. Drawing was never my forte. Okay. Uh, thank you. What the fuck is going on with you, dude? I haven't slept a week in many days. I don't think this is good for me. I hear the voice all the time. Can you hear it? Her heavenly voice. No. No, I can't. Can you? Can you hear it right now? <laughs> Doctor stares right into my eyes. Mud drips from his face. He hasn't blinked in over a minute. No, you don't. Why would you? You don't know her. He steps toward me and lowers his voice. I'm a bit fed up with her. A bit. A tiny little bit. She must know I'm heading her way. I'm doing everything I can. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I search under every rock. Under every fucking bush. She must understand it. She must give me some time. Some little time off. Tell her this, would you? You know I don't hear her! What? Okay, that's it. Sure. That you make so much sense, man. Just keep talking. I'll, I'm, I'm enwrapped. <laughs> God damn it. I am concerned about what we will see the next time we see him. We're gonna meet him again. 
We spent the whole first half searching for him, and now we found him, and I'm worried about him. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have helped him. Maybe that was the wrong choice, and this is actually hurting him. But, I mean, he wouldn't have given me the key if I... If I didn't help him. So, I probably would have had to kill him. So he's alive! Not for long, but he's alive! He's, he's starting to look like one of the frickin'... What is happening? They're alive! They, they locked themselves in the basement. To, to get food? Yes, fuckers, it's our common good. I'm... I don't... You're alive! Mushroom people are alive. The mushrooms are talking to me. Great leg, huh? Oh. Oh, yeah, no, fuck that. Really? I'm supposed to get across that. Am I supposed to just wade? Oh, that is not okay. Oh, what the fuck is... Alright. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I am out. I don't even have any inventory space. Back home. Back home. Fuck this. If I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time. I don't care. I'm going home depositing my shit. There's no point in actually going there if I can't get anything out of it. It's just there to spook the fuck out of me. I mean, the old woods was spooky, but it was, it was only spooky because it was so full of chompers and I was getting, like, freaking assaulted every second. This is another level. Come on. Mushroom man. Mushroom man. Oh, it's mushroom man. Oh, shit. I can't get away. Yes, I can. Give me your meat. Let's get back home. Country road, take me home to the place where I won't die, at least for a little while. And I feel safer there, even though someone's in my house. Well, let's, um, invisibility, super strength, or know where I fucking am for once in my life. I need a panic button. Wait. Huh? Huh? That's it? I can't... I legitimately can't inject any more essence. I am maxed out. Holy fuck. Well, what happens if I eat it? Oh, okay. Armor, my skin is thicker. Cool. Hello? Oh, okay. Oh my god! No fucking... Frightening me, Galileo, 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 he got him. Rain stopped. Do not. No. Leave me alone. It's almost morning. Leave me be. How did nothing happen that night? Are you serious? My goodness. <sighs>
It's just a thunderstorm. That is amazing to me. She scared me again. <laughs> 